Hello YouTube and welcome back. I am Benjamin Williams and today I'm very excited about this video. Today we're going to be making some copper UTP Ethernet cable drops within our house. So I'm very, very excited about this video as you guys could probably tell. But let me just give you guys an overview of some of the equipment that we're going to be installing today and kind of what we're working with with our home network right now. All right, so first and foremost, as we can see, we have a 300 foot Cat6 UTP Ethernet cable. So we know after about 300 feet or 100 meters, the signal over these uh, copper UTP cables start to uh, degrade. So I went on ahead and got the 300 foot. And hopefully this is able to run from my room because my room is in the back of the house i'm going to show you guys all of the drops that we're going to be making but my room is kind of the furthest away from where our network equipment has to sit um so we're going to see how that works but i have four of these because we're going to be making four drops so i have three more over there um so i'm very excited about that uh, we have the wall jack that we're going to change now i'm going to give you guys kind of a look at what we have now so as you guys can see we have the old coax drops within the house this house was built about 20 years ago so we no longer use the coax uh you know with me uh doing my certification and wanted to you know get better speeds i decided you know hey it's about time that we try to run some ethernet within the house uh, to make the house a little bit more modern so i'm very excited about that got the wall jack to replace the coaxial i don't know if we're going to entirely replace the coaxial and pull that out i might have to talk to my dad about that because um he, ultimately he the one he's the one him and my mom are the one that paid for the internet right now so i'm not going to do anything without their permission uh so we're going to see how that ends up but i did go ahead and get like i said the uh wall uh plate for the ethernet drop i went on ahead and picked up a five port gigabit switch I'm going to show you guys kind of the, like I said, the layout of the lab that we have right now, our home network. Uh, we're going to need another switch to be able to make all of these drops because on our, um, we have a wireless access point and a Wi-Fi box, but as we know, and it's combined into one box, but it only has three drops. So I got a switch so we can have some more ports to connect all of our connections in. Um, and then I have some more smaller uh, copper UTP Cat6 cables um, just for my home lab that I'm going to build out in my actual room. Um, so first, we're going to upgrade the infrastructure within the entire house, uh, run a couple of TVs off of these copper UTP cables, and then I'm going to make my own home room lab with my equipment. Um, I showed you guys these devices in one of these last videos, but this is my 48 port um cisco catalyst 3750 switch right here um and then here is my isr 4400 series router um so i'm very very excited to be bringing this video to the channel uh stay tuned i'm going to go ahead and next show you guys what our home network looks like at the moment so here's the setup in our actual computer lab right here is actually right here by the garage door so this is where we had to have our internet set up so as you can see we have our modem um, right there we're getting our internet connection from that uh run right there from that coax cable into the modem and then of course from the modem into our router and also wireless access point so we already have um we have basically three ethernet land connections that we can make and like i said we're going to be doing four drops so I don't think this connection is actually connected to anything. So I could probably use that. But as you can see, we only have two more um, connections. So that's why I went on ahead and picked up this uh, port gigabit switch so we can have some more connections um, to our router and also our wireless access point. It's an, and, and also switch. So it's an, um, <laughs> it has three devices, wireless access point, router, and a switch all in one. And of course, we have our modem over there. Um, so we're going to be um, seeing how we can get our drops into this room right here. So um, we're going to make four drops into this room and then um, I'm going to I'm going to make a drop in the living room. Um, and we're also going to make a drop in my parents room. And then I'm going to show you guys the drop that we're going to make in the back rooms 
which my room is back there, and then my brother's room, we're gonna make a drop in there too. So this is the drop that's gonna be in the living room. That's the computer room back there. Here's my room, back side of the house. And my brother's room, we're gonna make a drop back here in his room as well. So that's kind of the setup that we have right now, and I'm very excited about this video. All right, so I talked to my dad how we're gonna run the copper UTP cables throughout the house. Um, so we pulled the uh, coaxial uh, plate off the wall and we can see that it's running into the attic. So we're gonna have to run the cable through the attic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this part of the UTP cable um, to that part. And as we pull it through, it'll just travel towards the computer lab. And we're gonna just tape it with this tape right here. So tape this ethernet cable to that uh, coax cable, pull the coax cable through and then it should uh, allow us to make the drop inside of the computer lab. So that's the plan for this video. And I'll show you guys um, the process as we go through it. Got it taped up now. About to go up to the attic to pull this through. So let's go ahead and go up there now. See all of the coax drops that were made through the attic. So they run down to the computer room right there. And they run towards the back side of the house. So one of those connections, we just went back there and looked. It's very tight. So... Um, and you have to walk on the beam, so I didn't want to record much. But I seen the drop that actually runs the coax cable into my room. Um, so we seen that, so we're gonna be pulling that through here in a second. So getting a few more things set up, and then we're gonna be actually making these drops. So from the previous video, you see my dad drilling that hole to run the Cat6 cable up through the wall. And from there, I kind of stopped recording so we can really get the job done because it was getting later on in the day. But we were able to run that uh, cable through the wall. And here's the access Ethernet uh, that we have. And then from there, uh, we ran it down into the computer room. Through this hole right here this hole leads down to the computer room where the router and the modem sits so i plug that into the actual router so i have a ethernet connection to my room so my room is the first to be done um the other rooms uh we decided that we're going to wait for right now we're going to get some tools to make the job a little bit more easier um so we're going to get a little magnetic um thing that we can run down the wall so we can uh, make sure that we get the cable because we have some installate installations in our walls uh, so it makes it even harder to run that cat six cable down the wall so we're going to get a magnetic piece that we can just run it straight down the wall with the magnetic piece and then the ethernet cable will come out through the uh, wall um, hole that we have so we're going to be getting a few more uh, tools but i'm very excited that my room is done first uh, let's go ahead and drop down to see the actual connection that we have right now. And then, of course, as we continue to uh, do each of the drops, um, I'll show you guys the finished product as well. So let me show you guys what we have for right now. And then just stay tuned, you know, throughout the entire video to see the whole entire process. So that little hole that we were just up in the attic looking at, that hole runs down into the computer room up underneath this desk table. And we ran, ran it all the way down the wall and we pulled it out through um, and then it runs up into the router right here. That is the connection for my room. So I'm very excited about that. We have the wall cover off currently. I'm going to get a six port uh, wall cover just to future proof it. We're only going to have four runs that we're doing for each of the rooms in the house. But I'm going to put a six plate on there just in case we decide that we're going to run more cat six cable down into this computer room i actually have one of these on my wall in the room right now so let's go check that out so here is the wall jack on my room right here that has the ethernet cable running down into my cisco isr 4400 series router and here is my uh cisco catalyst 48 port 3750 switch um, so I'm very excited. I'm doing some testing right now uh, and definitely more videos 
for real device configuration are going to be coming to the channel um, so very excited that i have this physical ethernet connection to my room and we're going to continue to do the drops and continue this video so definitely stay tuned all right everyone so we have officially ran all of the ethernet cable up in the attic so these are from my room my brother's room the living room and then my parents room sits over there on the far end wall and all of them are running down to this hole which is where the computer room sits and our modem and our router sits so we left the access i talked to my dad about it and he said he just wanted to have some extra up here so he didn't want to cut uh, this long wire so let's go ahead and go down to the computer room so we can see where these four connections are going to run down into and just the fyi i didn't do a lot of recording while we were up here in the attic just because we had to be very careful stay on the beams make sure we didn't fall through the ceiling so uh, very limited, you know, limited recording right here, but that comes with this type of circumstance. The computer room now where the modem and the router sits, and if we come up under the desk, this is where that drop came in at. So you guys see my room is already connected, and that is this wire right here. So we're already connected to the router. And the other three that we, other three drops that we made are right here. We had to cut the ends uh, to make sure that the cable could get, get down through that hole. So I have a few supplies. We have our RJ45 uh, tester. We have our crimpers right there. We have the wall jack that we're gonna put on there. We have the pass-through uh, Cat6 connectors. We have a pair of wire cutters um, and a pair of uh, fine wire cutters right there as well. So I'm gonna make a separate video sh demonstrating how I do the crimping and also how I uh, put a jack uh, on these wires, but that's going to be in another video. We're going to go ahead and knock that out and uh, I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so we made all the, the connections. This is one of them right here. This is the second and this is the third over there. And as you see, uh, as you can see, we have our RJ45 cable tester and we can see that it's going through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to go to my brother's room where this cord is running. And the um, the, you can see this one is the master. We're going to look at the remote and it should go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well without any skip. So let's go check that out. Coming into my brother's room, we can see the remote is sitting right here. And you can see it says remote and it's going through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and no skips. So that means that these RJ45 connections at both ends can talk to each other. And I did this for every single room to make sure that every room is doing good and this RJ45 jack is working. So now we're going to go ahead and put the wall plates on everything and go from there. All right, so this is the final wall plate. I went on ahead and put the wall plates on all of the other rooms and also the living room. So we're gonna run four cat six cables through this wall jack that's going to be in the computer room and we'll have two extras just in case we ever ran two more cat six down this uh wall right here so let's go ahead and put this on and i'll show you guys the finished product all right so i have the wall jack on there now i didn't screw it on because we still have some old telephone line that still runs up in that box i'm gonna wait for my dad to get home to see if he wants to cut that or not i just don't want to cut it without his his permission but we're gonna go ahead and uh put our switch in um, because we only have two ethernet ports on our isp router so we need two more connections so we're going to use this switch right here to get some more uh, ports so let's go ahead and hook everything up and we'll get everything hooked up to the ethernet and i'll show you guys the end result from there all right so here's the final result of the six cat six ethernet jacks up under the computer I have them running behind those papers. I tied them up right here just to make it a little bit neater. And then for my room connection, I went on ahead and connected it into the ISP router itself. But for the other rooms, I connected them into the switch and I ran one connection from the switch into the router. Um, so one of these is the living room, one of them is my brother's room, and the other one is my parents' room. And like I said, my ethernet is running directly into the ISP router. So this was a great video. I'm glad that we were able to get ethernet throughout the entire house. I'm very, very excited with the finished product.